Hey everybody, I'm going to talk to you about Morgan Nick. She was abducted in the year 1995. So on June 9th, 1995 at 10.45 p.m. in Alma, Arkansas, six-year-old Morgan was abducted from a Little League ball game by an unidentified man. On the day she was abducted, she had joined some friends to catch lightning bugs. Morgan was last seen standing near her mother's car where she stopped to empty sand from her shoes. Witnesses saw a man watching Morgan as she was playing with her friends at the park. I'll share with you guys another picture that they have. And this is the Morgan Nick Foundation. I'm going to show you the composite sketch in a minute. Of the man. So witnesses saw a man watching Morgan as she was playing with her friends at the park. The witnesses also saw a red pickup truck with a white camper parked nearby the area where Morgan was abducted from it. Also, the red pickup also vanished at the same time she did. There is possible damage to the camper on the right rear bumper and was described as four or five inches too short for the truck, which has a short wheel base and paint dulled by age. The witness also believes the truck had Arkansas plates. The male description is as follows, six foot tall with a medium to solid build, a mustache and, and a one inch beard. He is believed to be between the ages of 23 to 38 years old. I'm going to show you that composite picture, a sketch, sorry. So this is the composite sketch. And if you know who this is, you can call Alma Police Department at 501-632-3930. Let me go back to the story. Yep. At the time of the disappearance, Morgan was approximately four feet tall, about 55 pounds, with blonde hair and blue eyes. Morgan had five visible silver caps on her molars. She was last seen wearing a green Girl Scout t-shirt, blue denim shorts, and white tennis shoes. A massive investigation was turned up thousands of leads, but still no solid clues to the whereabouts of Morgan or her abductor. The FBI and local communities have offered a $60,000 reward for the recovery of Morgan, Chantel Nick, and the identification, arrest, and conviction of subject or subjects responsible for her abduction. The search continues to move forward. There have been numerous <clears throat> possible sightings of Morgan across the United States. Morgan's parents believe that Morgan is still alive and hope that with continued media coverage, someone will be able to provide them with information that could bring their daughter home. <clears throat> so she went missing 6-9-1995 from Elma, Arkansas. Um, when they wrote this, she would be 24, but today she would be 36. years old so 
So this was written um, quite a few years ago. So Elma Police Department, 479-632-3333, Morgan Nick Foundation, 1-877-534-4673, or 1-800-THE-LOST. And if you go to the, this website, you can actually download a printable information flyer. Let's see if there's any videos on here. Oh, okay. And then from home, we love to celebrate that here at the Morgan Mick Foundation. So we are so excited to be able to welcome home our people that have been missing. Mm -hmm. So we have a welcome home wall here and everyone's poster gets put up and we love to come home. We love to celebrate that here at the Morgan Mick Foundation. So we are so excited to be able to welcome home our people that have been missing. So we have a welcome home wall here and everyone's poster gets put up and we love to invite people from the community here and we um, ring the bell to signify that they are home and that they have been located um, and to signify the end and be able to close that case. And we love to put their photo up here on the wall and we keep those things displayed here all the time so that we can just always have a reminder as we walk past the welcome home wall that what we're doing is making a difference and we're bringing these people home, even though some of our cases are really tough and really long and drawn out, um, these people do come home. So we love to celebrate that here with, with our welcome home wall. So they do a bunch of things um, with the Morgan Nick Foundation, which is awesome for the missing in, that, in Arkansas. I'm also going to share with you some news articles. So this is age progression for 26 years. So there was a documentary. Aired on Morgan Neck and they received about 300 new leads after the documentary came out. It's been, so this article is also from when she was 26 years old. So it's been more than 26 years since six year old Morgan Nick disappeared while playing with her friends at a little league game in Northwest Arkansas. The girl the FBI reported was abducted on June 9, 1995 from a parking lot near the Warford baseball field in Alma, a city in Crawford County where several, thousands, where several thousand people lived. To this day, her kidnapper has not been identified and her disappearance remains a mystery to her family and law enforcement, Arkansas and beyond. It was never a thought in my mind that Morgan would still be missing, Colleen Nick, Morgan's mother, told USA Today Network. Someone knows the truth. Trafficking green Barrett fights even harder for his little sister after she's found. Oh, never mind. That's a different article. So FBI believe they're closer than ever to identifying Morgan Nick's kidnapper. This month, the FBI announced officials may be get be closer than ever to identifying her kidnapper. Agents also said people in Tennessee may know valuable information. FBI agents are seeking any information about Billy Jack Lynx, who the agency named a person of interest in the case in, on November 9th. He died in prison in 2000. FBI looking for information on possible lead in the Morgan Nick's disappearance. 
We believe he has ties to the region, said Connor Hagen, a FBI spokesper spokesperson based in Little Rock. There is nothing concrete that ties him to Tennessee, but there is good chance he was associated to people in the state. And that seems to be a camper. Officials are currently looking for the owner of this red truck pictured at an Alma ball field on the day of Morgan Nick's disappearance on June 9, 1995. A new documentary film on Nick's case has developed nearly 300 leads. We're going way back. People move around but we put this out to all the states surrounding Arkansas from Mississippi to Missouri, to Louisiana, to Oklahoma, to Tennessee, to Texas, to get as much as possible. People knew him, someone knows him. According to the FBI, Lynx was born and raised in Crawford County, Arkansas. He served with the US Army during the World War II and then worked at Braniff Airlines in Dallas from 1962 to 1974. He returned to Van Buren, Arkansas, late 1970s. According to the FBI, Links was born and raised in Crawford County, Arkansas. He served with the U.S. Army during World War II and then worked at Braniff Airlines in Dallas from 1962 to 1974. He returned to Van Buren, Arkansas in the late 1970s. About two months after Morgan's disappearance, the FBI reported Lynx attempted to abduct a young girl in Van Buren at location eight miles from the baseball field where Morgan was last seen. Lynx died in prison in 2000, the FBI requesting help from anyone who knew Lynx, whether it was through school, work, church, or any social activity. We need information about Lynx and details about his entire life, Hagen said. In 1996, Morgan's mother created the Morgan Nick Foundation to provide a support network to parents and families of missing children. Anyone who knew Lynx or has any information about him or his life is asked to call the FBI, 1-800-CALL-FBI. Natalie Nessa Alund is based in Nashville at the Tennessean and covers breaking news. All right. Let's see this. Pay later option available. Choose from dozens of colors, styles. A local case on a worldwide stage. Tonight, it's been almost a week since a documentary about the Morgan Nick disappearance dropped on Hulu highlights the case of the six-year-old kidnapped from Crawford County and the family's decades-long fight to find her. And today, we visited with Morgan's mom, Colleen, and the director of that documentary. The mini docu-series goes into great detail about the 1995 kidnapping of Morgan Nick from Alma. In the weeks since the four episodes dropped, We've been really impressed with with just the public response from what we've seen. You know, there's a lot that we haven't seen across the country, but um, our, our main goal and target of ours were, was to saturate the local area with the information in the documentary. I mean, that's why we were doing it in the first place. And so far, people have been highly responsive. And while there have been countless stories about Morgan's disappearance, Colleen says this one is different. We decided when when we were offered the opportunity to do this documentary, for us, it looked like an opportunity to put Morgan's information out there in a different way than it had ever been done, reaching people that have never been reached and giving 
us the chance to solve Morgan's case and to bring her home. Park says another goal with this was to show the viewer how investigators handle tips. A lot of times the public thinks that when they turn in a tip or they, they call investigators or they call Channel 5 and give information that they may have, they think that it just falls on deaf ears. And so it was a goal of mine to show how dedicated not just the family, but the investigators on these teams are and have been for 25 plus years. So to show a little bit behind the scenes of that, but also dive in and get to know the Nick family in a very vulnerable way. Doing the documentary felt very raw and very vulnerable, but I think that the director, Devin Parks, was a genius in how he put Morgan's story together and he told it so that people would see the everyday reality of what it looks like. And um, I'm very pleased, I'm brokenhearted, but very pleased with how the documentary turned out. It's really hard to watch something like this. Um, and sometimes viewing things that are uncomfortable are important to, that you can look back and, and, and think about. And that's been the goal. And I feel like we were able to do that with the series in, in the four parts that we put out. Colleen says the main thing is not to lose sight of bringing Morgan home and is hoping for answers after 27 years. Even if Morgan doesn't get to come home the way we wanted her to, she still has the right to come home. And we should be able to find her and answer those questions. Again, that four-part docuseries is available on Hulu and is called Still Missing Morgan. We're also told additional episodes are expected, but it's not been released when that will be. Yeah, and the docuseries was released. Um, I haven't watched it, but I'm about, I wish I could find it. I haven't seen it on Hulu, but it would be interesting to watch. So for just a little over a quarter of a century, the 1995 disappearance of six-year-old Morgan Nick has been a mystery, but investigators believe they are getting closer and identifying the person responsible for kidnapping. The FBI said Tuesday, Morgan was taken from a parking lot area near Warford Field in Alma, Arkansas, during a Little League game on June 9, 1995, according to a news release from the FBI. So, and this is the guy, right here's the picture of the guy that they are seeking information on. So, Morgan and her family drove about 30 minutes from their home in Ozark, Arkansas, to watch the game in Alma with friends that night. And this is a picture of Morgan. So again, this is the man. Morgan's mother, Colleen Nick, told Dateline in 2019 that toward the end of the game, Morgan went off to catch fireflies in the parking lot with other children. Colleen said she was skeptical of letting her young daughter go off to play, but was assured by other parents that it was a safe area. She threw her arms around my neck, kissed my cheek. Then the kids all ran out to the parking lot. Colleen said, date, Dateline in 2019, I could turn my head and see that she was right there. I checked on them three or four times, but then the game was over. Morgan was gone. It's been 26 years, well, it's 36 now, since she has, was taken. And her case file remains. Her case file fills an entire room. This week, the FBI released a new plea for help, stating they believe they are closer to identifying the person who took Morgan all those years before. Based on the ongoing investigation, agents seek information about Billy Jack Lynx, who was born and raised in Crawford County, Arkansas. He served in the Army during World War II when worked, then worked at Brandeis 
Airlines in Dallas from 1962 to 1974. Right. All the information I told you before in the other article. And again, this is a picture of Morgan Nix. I will put the link for the Morgan Nix Foundation in the description. So please, guys, remember to hit that like button and share, share, share. Comment below. And thank you all for watching. Let's bring Morgan home. Have a great night. Bye, guys.